All right, I'm gonna take this off health again. Come on, give me some speed. That's the problem. It's all just randomization. That just, what the? What? What? I, I got a worse roll. I got a worse roll. See, here's the old one. That's the new one. No, I don't want that. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and droids, big updates today. Of course, we're still hyped on the greatest update of all time. Seven years in the making. In case you missed, we'll put a card in the top right hand corner. But today we got uh, the interesting bit of the mod update. So yesterday we had the mod quality of life, which we talked about pretty extensively. We showcased all the new features. Today, they added the economy change, which let me briefly remind you on what those were. And I'll show it in game. And of course, we have this new mod calibration tool which i want to be your guinea pig let me make the mistakes and figure out what the heck is going on before you start putting your resources into these but overall we know that this is supposed to make mods your good mods even better and hopefully your garbage mods usable i.e getting more speed on them is probably gonna be the name of the game we want to get perfect speed mods here uh, we already talked about all this yesterday but people were like hey where's this other part they said it's gonna come later on which is today no more four dot mods in the last year of mod challenges great Flattening the shape percentages, meaning easier to get, for example, cross than triangles. Normally very difficult to get. And this is kind of big. 60 to 60 mod slice throws are now available in the last stage of mod battles. And they're not doing this out of the kindness of their hearts. They're doing it because I can almost guarantee you they're ramping us up for this calibration tool. And I think we're going to get seven dot mods in the near future. But let's go check this new feature out. Aha! It's time for some advanced mod alteration techniques. Mod calibration will let you transfer slice between secondary stats. And I just want to put it out there, it's kind of obligatory of me. It's funny how we got Datacrons, other progression system, but we still can't get the relic changes and the gear economy. Ugh, so tough. Luckily, it's easy to put this stuff up. Now, I digress. I'm not going to make that the whole spiel of today's video. Let's keep seeing what they have. You start by selecting a stat for slice removal. It's best to choose a stat that you don't want on this mod. So, all right, for example, this is a Supreme Leader Kalren mod. Um, I guess out of all these stats, I'd probably least want Tenacity. Once you selected a stat, tap this button to start. Calibration will remove a random slice from your selected stat and apply a new slice to a random stat here. Okay. Calibration is a volatile process. I like how they emphasize volatile, meaning it's highly RNG dependent. <laughs> what they want to highlight there for you guys. When a slice re is uh, reapplied, it could go back to the same stat you remove it from. Okay. Don't forget, you'll need the micro attenuators to perform a calibration. Uh, there's also a limit on the number of times a mod can be calibrated, earn more calibration attempts by slicing the mod. Okay. So let's go get a spiel for how this is going to operate here. Let's go and uh, hop on over to the store. Now there's a free resource. We have this free calendar right here for the next 14 days. It's going to give you a decent amount. I have no, I have no idea of how the valuation of these are. It's my first time experiencing it. Let's go ahead. We should be able to get our first little bit out of the calendar. And, you know, let's just take as many as we can today. Just, oh boy. Oh, this is, oh boy. I should have checked the, all right. I thought it was only 10. Well, let's go. Wait, well, if you're on the wall, who's the whaleys at the mall? 80. What's the, what is that? All right, out of 150. So it looks like we're smack dab in the middle. So that was a, oh, that was actually, I didn't even look at the stats. 6% chance. Man, where are those drops on needed for characters? All right, only can purchase these once a day. What? You guys don't want to do unlimited attempts like you did of Datacrons. Pick up these. We have 105 to work with. Let's see what this is all about. All right. Remember, mod slicing is only available on Mark 5 and Mark 6 mods. Mod coverage requires a Mark 6 mod. Okay. So you can't just until you get into the 6 dot range. No coverage tips remaining on this mod. Okay. I might have missed un misunderstood. Don't worry, guys. If you already have mods that are at 6A, all of those roles will already be applied. So to anyone who's already taken a mod to 6A, those roles will automatically be opened up for you. All right, so based off this video here, they said that if we already have a 6A mod, it should apply those extra calibration temps. Uh, I could say that's not working. It seems like that is not working as intended right now because as you see, I have a 6A mod here that I might want to get more speed on and trade stats with. For some reason, it's uh, it's not applying it. But in the meantime, here, as you, as you can see, in the mod battles at level 9, they now added these puppies here. They added this, and this is kind of a big deal because I would always go to the shards every day for these. They added this as well, and on top of it, you're getting these. And it also looks like the mod attenuators are also free-to-play farmable here, not just uh, pay-to-play accessible. Look at that, possible rewards. It looks like it's a mixture of things, so I need some of these guys. Right now. So let's go see what it looks like here. Let's start farming some puppies. All right, mm, all right, boy, it's crazy seeing those, these guys finally farmable. Okay, all right, looks like we're getting about one attenuator per max 
pull we're doing here yeah it looks like we got another one here so it looks like it's what is this like a one in eight one in nine chance it's very anecdotal but here we go uh, we'll do one more for the fun of it and um yeah so here we got two that time around all right let's go see if we can upgrade a mod yeah there we go looks like a restart fix it so if you're running to that problem like me restart the game it looks like you can start calibrating let's find like the perfect mod that i would ideally want to upgrade this is kind of important the question is gonna be what should i be using these attenuators on the mods that you leveled up and you missed out on maxing out the speeds let's go find that so to find that we're gonna look for speed secondaries that sliced less than five times so we're gonna find those that only rolled sp uh, speed four times and we're gonna sort by speed so this should show me beautiful example we have han solo actually you know what i want to uh, upgrade superior car i'm gonna get a lot more use out of that so there we go so what we're, what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna take take a stat we want to remove a slice from and transfer that over so i'm gonna click on this i mean look at that that was a horrible roll for tenacity right there and i'm hoping this is where the randomization comes in i'm hoping it's gonna move over to speed so let's go check it out all right big money big money big money let's hear the sound effects damn it all right so oh and it took the good tenacity moved it over all right so let's say i don't want that this card changes will not refund any currency or calibration attempt so unfortunately it won't give me back my materials uh and it, it's not gonna give me back my attempt but uh you know what i'll keep that let's keep it for right now we're gonna keep those changes it's health i'd rather have more health than tenacity that's for Carlos. so now notice it doesn't have two secondary stats randomization on an insane level um let's try it again new attempt come on big money big money big money all right well now it's gonna pick a random all right so it's gonna take my good health roll and push it on over there all right unfortunately it wasn't all that great um sure i'll keep the offense on all right i'd rather have offense than health and tenacity all right let's try it again so now we have three stats so i can do this again Boy, we're gonna just dump it all on SLK. I'm gonna laugh if I don't get what I need. Holy crap, man. What I wanna know is what's the what's the percent chance? No, no, I'm discarding that. I don't wanna keep it on tenacity. I wanna know what the percent chance is of getting it on speed. Like, did they like weigh it in a very specific way? Look at that. I'm already out of attempts for the day, basically. I I, I wanna at least get one roll on the speed. So we'll buy that $10 pack real quick. But this just goes to show that. It's going to get pretty expensive. And one thing I should be paying attention to is how is, is the cost escalating every single time I do it. All right, so let's look at a mod that I have not enhanced. This is going to cost 15. How much does the perimeter car rent cost for doing this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of like Datacrons. The more you try to reroll, the more it's going to cost. At this point, why would I bother? Why would I bother? It's going to cost me 75. My gosh. They've been loving this increased cost of re-rolling. Datacrons, they've been digging that secretly. Well, I'm I'm tapped out. I'm not doing this on Supreme Carbon. Why would I risk again for a chance on speed when so far I've done it, what, three times? We're getting everything else but that. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's find a new mod. Let's see if we can find maybe a Kenobi. Everyone wants a faster Kenobi, right? Okay, well, potency. I Watch, I'm going to end up getting potency here. Let's see if we can try to switch some of the health and move it over the speed. Come on, big money, big money. So 15 for the first attempt. There we go, finally, a decent example. And that, and that is how I understood this feature to be. I don't care about any other stats right now, at least for the first several months to a year. This is what you want to get. You want to take those mods that almost are perfect mods. Now this is for me, perfect mod. I'm done. I can go to sleep as a happy man tonight after I got completely screwed. Vice Premier Kyle Ren. Let's find another Galactic Legend. Lord Vader. I, you always want more speed on any Galactic Legend. Let's go for it. 21 speed. Ooh, what don't I want? Potency. Yeah, he doesn't need potency. He's got all these unresistible effects on him. Let's go. Big money, big money. Come on, give me some speed. Give me some speed. Give me some speed. Ah! Ah! Nah, I mean, better than potency. Um, all right. Well, might as well keep this. The potency doesn't really matter all that much on Lord Vader. So I'd rather keep that there. Uh, let's go and see if we can maybe... Mm, I'll do it another time. So look at it. We're in our third attempt here. Second attempt. It jumped up by 10. Let's see what a, third, what a third attempt would look like. Let's go move some from protection. I'm hoping it goes on speed. Hopefully it doesn't go on potency. God dang it. So there comes a point where you got to be like, is it worth it? I'm going to keep this on my protection. Yeah, I'll keep it over there. Uh, and now it's at 40. So it's looking like, what, it went to 10, 25. So it's kind of like going by increments of... It starts at a 10. It looks like it's going by another 5. So if I did this again, it looks like it takes us to that pretty insane cost. So I'm tapped out here. Let's go move on to Master Luke. Let's see if we can get lucky here. All right. We... Oh, boy. All these are great. Uh, health is probably the least viable on him. Uh, we want more protection, if anything. So if I... So here's the circumstance. If I get more protection... Eh, 
you know, it's better than health. I'll take that. Okay, so that's not a horrible trade-off. I will keep these changes. That's a... It's again, Master Luke, remember, his Jedi lessons he gives around, it benefits having as much protection as possible. All right, I'm going to take this off health again. Come on, give me some speed. That's the problem. It's all just randomization. That just... What the... What? What? I, I got a worse roll. I got a worse roll. See, here's the old one. That's the new one. No, I don't want that. Wow. I, so it's, uh, I don't like this. <laughs> when it works, it's beautiful. When it doesn't work, dang, does it suck. All right, let's find one more Galactic Legend mod here. All right, this is pretty much our last attempt here. Uh, let's get rid of the crit chance. That really that important on him. Let's go. Come on. I just want speed. I just want speed. Speed. There we go. I think that's a good way to end here. Let's see. We're going to get rid of some crit chance. And I got a really crappy roll on speeder, but three extra speed sometimes makes all the difference on these characters. So my tips, my main tip is if you're looking for mods to upgrade, if you have a Galactic Legends, that's probably area number one, making your Galactic Legends even faster. And then organizing your speed mods by sorting by speed and looking for mods that have less than five slices on them on that speed and then organize it by speed here. And then you can kind of go by order. Like this is probably a mod I think it really has a really good possibility of getting like 29 potential if we can get an extra six here. So unfortunately we're out of attempts for today. But yeah, as of now, just like when the six, when the new six dot mod slicing came in, you want to focus on the fastest speeds possible. So anything that has like four slices, those are probably going to be the ones, the four slice speeds are probably going to be the first ones you're going to want to upgrade here, making your characters even faster. Did you get wrecked like me or did you get some good rolls like me? That's just the nature of mods, and now it's becoming a little bit more random. It just think about it for a second. Imagine all the layers of randomness going on in the game right now. You know, you gotta hope you get the right mod that's gonna have speed. Then you gotta roll it, and hopefully as you're rolling it, it's gonna hit the speed. And then you gotta hope that through slicing it, it's gonna hit the speed. And then when you wanna calibrate it, you better hope that you're gonna get the speed. So just think of that. Think of how crazy it is. All the loops you have to jump through just for mods, and we're not even talking about data crons. Welcome to Galaxy of Heroes, where your wallet might be big, but your luck is a little down. Thank you for stopping by. And as always, my friends, remember, it's great to be in the Empire today.